What's up everybody? My name is Brandon Thrasher and welcome. Come on in. Come on in the garage. Sit down. Let's have a chat. Um, hope you guys are having a wonderful Labor Day. Uh, I was supposed to be camping this weekend. I was supposed to be enjoying this weekend and I somebody got sick and we couldn't go. So I've spent the whole weekend basically playing with knives, you know, relaxing, getting in everybody's live streams, shooting their shit with uh, as many people, as many of you as I could. Um, just been enjoying my weekend and carrying a lot. I've been carrying a lot of knives. Now normally I get like one video a week and it's because, you know, I work a daily job and that daily job, when I get done, most of the time, it takes me a whole week of carrying after I work because sometimes I get off work and I just, I'm too tired, man. I, I crash, I come home, I take a shower, I eat dinner, I crash. Um, but since I've had like, you know, four days, uh, I've carried more in those four days. Went to pick the family to zoo, did some other shit and I've been carrying and, and, and so I got some unboxing videos out, and then I did the I did my final take on the Wii Sushi, I mean, uh, Sakshi. And uh, I thought I would probably put a video out tomorrow, another unboxing video or something out tomorrow. But then I realized, you know, I, I'm pretty much done with this, so I'm gonna do my last take on the Civivi Bow Brad Zanker design which is beautiful, it's a beautiful knife, it really is. Absolutely stunning uh, blue inlaid carbon fiber, oh, marble carbon fiber, uh, with some blue inlay in there, and a beautiful stone washed nitro V blade. And I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but down there on the flipper tab it says nitro V. Um, with, for under a three inch blade, uh, superb action, man, like, so smooth, it is, it's so smooth, it's, I love the action on this knife. Uh, it's got your standard deep carry, pocket clip from Civivi, uh, it's a flipper only deployment, uh, we'll get to some of that here in a minute. Like I said, beautiful carbon fiber, marbled carbon fiber scales it is a liner stainless steel liner i don't know if you can see in there uh, hopefully maybe somehow you can see in there but they are milled on the one side and they're not milled on the liner side because of the liner and such a small knife but it is milled on the non lighter side for obviously weight reduction it rides on ceramic bearings. Um, all in all, it's pretty obvious what this is. If you guys don't know, this is a gentleman's carry knife. It, it, it screams gentleman's carry. It screams office. It screams a uh, nice backup, um, which is what I used it for. I carried the Wii Sakshi, which is a very nice marble carbon fiber knife. This complemented the Wii Sakshi extremely well as a backup back pocket. It's not a fifth pocket knife. It's not small enough for a fifth pocket, but um, back pocket, backup, this thing will do any of your office stuff, cut tape, open letters, open packages, um, break down a little bit of cardboard, whatever you need to do. It, it's, it's plenty capable of that. It's enough blade for that. It's not a hard use blade, obviously, but then again, it's obvious that this is a gentleman's carry knife. Okay? So, let's get into some of it. Oh, carry. So, it is not a four finger for me at all. It's like a four and an eight, maybe, or three and an eight. Maybe a quarter if I go real tight. Um, the clip lands in, you know, the cushions of my fingers. So it's not a hot spot for me. Somebody with a smaller hand, it could be a hot spot for sure. 
Um, what else? Man, okay, so that's kind of a downfall. Here, here's what I'm going to say. Oh, let's. We does production for Fairport Stinger, right? This is an awesome knife, man. Uh, but look at that clip. Look at that clip. It's tiny. It's a tiny clip. Why can't they put a tiny clip, Savivi? Get a tiny clip. Put it on a tiny knife, right? Like you'd have definitely no hot spots. It'd go with the knife very well, and that would be that, right? Other than that, my other major gripe is, with this knife is detent. Okay, and we knives are known for weak detent, and Savivi's part of we, but this is a really this is a failing detent okay like you have to push it to get it to come out you have to flick it it's better light light flicking it but you have to and you you have to deal with authority because this is easy to fail every time every time it takes literally nothing to fail this knife you don't have to try to fail it and that's what pisses me off like if you have to try to fail it then it's good okay it can obviously always be better everybody likes a different style detent but if you don't have to try to fail it and it just fails that's not good that, that's not good now it's a really light blade and that's another thing it being a light blade they need to increase the detent okay i mean if you go you go it's out it's good no problem you know like i said the action is for this small and this light of a blade that's full on full on impressive that's me catching the flipper tab on the clothes but full on impressive right and this and it's ultra smooth like the action itself this that's all it it's it's ultra smooth it really is and i like it i like it for that <clears throat> um but the detent definitely needs to go up because that's uncalled for. Like I didn't try to fail it there, it just failed because I didn't give it the uh, the oomph or the juice it needs to come all the way out. And I, you know, like I said, that light of a blade, you, you need to increase detent. Now, you know, it is running on ceramic ball bearings. I mean, it's got it's got stop pin that through the blade, so it's part of the blade on this. I didn't take it apart to find out if stop pin pulls out of the blade, but it definitely rides through the blade. Um, all in all, this is a, it's a gentleman's carry knife. It's a small gentleman's carry knife, and it works very well as that. I think it is a fantabulous looking knife i love the nitro v steel I've, I've really become very fond of nitro v steel and uh, no complaints there i think the design is great the straight back on the blade the brad zinker straight lines absolutely wonderful um wonderful wonderful look but for a guy like me this isn't for me my hand is too big for this knife it's not that it was uncomfortable using it when i used it but it's just not my style my thing i'm not an office guy i don't uh i don't have an office don't own an office don't use an office i work construction so i'm in a totally but it's too small for my hand um by far uh, i have large hands and when i wear a large glove it's tight so with that being said my my youngest son he really liked this knife he thought it complimented uh, his elementum very well and so I'm probably going to give it to him uh, you know it's just not for me but it is a great I'm going to say it's great office carry style a gentleman's knife for $79 you're getting beautiful marble carbon fiber scales you're getting nitro v steel um, you're getting sweet straight lines the knife looks great it's light it carries great uh, I got nothing bad to say that way it's just not for me it's not my style of knife I like the looks of the lines I wish this knife was bigger three and a half inch blade uh, you know 4.25 inch handle I you know I would be right up my alley if it was a bigger knife 
uh, I, and I enjoyed carrying it for what it was. It's just not for me. Uh, if you're in an office setting, uh, this knife is pretty cool. Uh, very, very stylish, very sleek. You're not going to scare anybody. It's just an all in all. It's a beautiful all in all. Absolutely stunning. I love the blade shape. Um, anyway, that's my final take on the Civivi bow by Brad Zinker. I hope you guys are out there having an awesome, awesome Labor Day, or at least relaxing and enjoying that weekend of the Labor Day. Um, get out there and do something positive. Make yourself happy. Make others happy. Whatever it is you're into, carry away. Be a legend, because even if you're a legend in your own mind, you're still a legend. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, hit me in the comments if you want me to check something out. Got ideas, just want to shoot the shit. I got an Instagram, it's Graham's link. Hit me in the comments, either way, wherever you can find me. I'd be happy to talk with you, shoot with you, debate with you, whatever with you. I forgot to show you. It is a normal sharp blade. It will cut you up. Uh, anyway, you guys get out there and enjoy the day or stay home and relax. Your choice, whatever makes you happy. And uh, that's it for me, guys. I hope to catch you in the next one.